Wildlife is a precious natural resource. But sometimes, wild animals can threaten public health, our food system, property, endangered species, and natural resources. Preventing conflicts between people and wildlife is a goal of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services Program. The National Wildlife Research Center, NWRC, in Fort Collins, Colorado, is the research headquarters for wildlife services. Let's take a closer look at this unique state-of-the-art facility. Its diverse staff and world-leading multidisciplinary approach to solving wildlife damage management problems. The National Wildlife Research Center provides scientific expertise for the development of wildlife damage management tools and techniques. Research focuses on wildlife diseases, invasive species, reproductive physiology and contraceptives, animal behavior and ecology, product registration with the appropriate government agencies, and the development of new tools such as repellents, attractants, toxicants, and vaccines. Approximately 75% of the center's research budget is devoted to the development of non-lethal tools and techniques for resolving wildlife conflicts. The center works with a variety of partners and strives to make its research findings known to others. The NWRC employs approximately 160 scientists and support staff at its headquarters in Fort Collins and several field stations throughout the country. Their diverse expertise ranges from animal behavior to economics to wildlife biology. The National Wildlife Research Center is a great place to work. We have a dedicated staff who work in interdisciplinary teams to meet the challenges when presented with wildlife-human conflicts. We have really excellent facilities to hold wild animals and it makes the work on wildlife much easier to be able to have nice facilities and to keep the animals in very good condition while we're doing research on them. Looking at the animals uh, doing research in the laboratory can answer some questions that you can't answer doing field work and so it'll complement our field work that we can resolve some problems more easily. The NWRC headquarters campus includes facilities for conducting wildlife research including chemistry and disease laboratories, a wide range of outdoor animal holding pens, tropical and temperate simulated natural environments, SNE, and a biosafety level three suite. These facilities give scientists a unique opportunity to study traditional laboratory animals and many wildlife species in both laboratory and semi-natural settings. New tools and techniques can be tested evaluated and modified at the center prior to conducting field studies. For example, NWRC scientists are working to develop a contraceptive vaccine for use on prairie dogs, as well as other species such as white-tailed deer, crown squirrels, and feral pigs. The benefits of working at the National Wildlife Research Center to me as a reproductive physiologist are that I can manipulate light cycles, which allows me to manipulate reproductive cycles. That allows me to do research throughout the year instead of just during the reproductive season like would happen out in the field. And also I'm able to follow animals closely for an extended period of time, which is not something that's easy to do in the field where you need multiple samples from an animal. One area of increasing concern in wildlife damage management is the prevention and control of invasive species. The number of invasive or non-native wildlife found throughout the world is increasing and poses a serious threat to the health of native wildlife and ecosystems. The NWRC's 25,000 square foot Invasive Species Research Building allows scientists to study invasive species in many types of simulated climates. In the building's simulated natural environment rooms, scientists can replicate an animal's native habitat right down to the amount of rain and sunlight. And we also have Gambian giant pouched rats. The, the Gambian rats are native to Africa, but for some reason people like to raise them as pets, and they've been raising them in various parts of the country. 
and someone was raising them as pets down in the Florida Keys and, and they allowed some to escape or they released them and they become established down there. Now these animals, if they get to the mainland, they could do a lot of damage to agriculture as well as the damage they could do to, to native species of both plants and animals. Facilities like this to, to do this work is just makes it all that much more exciting. The Invasive Species Research Building is designed to help scientists study the ecology, behavior, and basic biology of invasive reptiles and amphibians, birds, and mammals, as well as detection methods and potential control methods such as lures, repellents, capture devices, toxicants, and reproductive inhibitors. Recently, the potential for transmission of diseases among wildlife, livestock, and humans has received greater attention. 75% of emerging infectious diseases are zoonotic, meaning they are naturally transmitted between wildlife and people. Inside NWRC's Animal Research Building is a 2,500 square foot Biosafety Level 3 suite. BSL 3 stands for Biosafety Level 3. And that is just the level of precaution we take when working with certain diseases. In a BSL-3 facility, PPE, or personal protective equipment, is very important. Uh, this protects the researcher from any diseases that the, they might be working with in the animals. The suite is specially designed for the study of wildlife diseases, such as West Nile virus, brucellosis, bovine tuberculosis, rabies, Holly pathogenic avian influenza and plague. By learning more about these diseases, scientists can develop surveillance and diagnostic techniques, as well as help prevent the spread and transmission of these diseases to other animals and humans. The majority of NWRC's 43-acre campus consists of the center's outdoor animal research facility. This area includes 20 specialized pen structures and four related support buildings. Testing the effectiveness of new wildlife damage management tools in a natural setting is challenging and very costly. NWRC's outdoor animal research facility provides researchers with the ability to temporarily house wild animals for study under control conditions. The kind of damage that woodpeckers cause are to utility structures and this is a cooperative study with utility companies. The amount of damage annually that woodpeckers can cause is in the millions of dollars and they can cause damage to the structures themselves. We've looked at developing chemical repellents, non-lethal repellents. Animals housed at the center and its field stations are the responsibility of the attending veterinarian and animal care staff. We have a variety of animals at any given time from your traditional laboratory species to small carnivores. So we have a big variety of the types of foods and supplies that we keep on hand. My staff has to be fairly creative. A lot of times we're doing things that people haven't done commonly before. They're interested in enrichment programs for the animals that we have here. On a daily basis, the animal care staff feeds, cleans, and looks after the overall health of the animals on site. They also work to enrich the lives of the animals with stimulating prepared foods or treats, toys, and other stimulating activities. Most of the people that work here were interested in animals to begin with. Most of them also are interested in wildlife. So this is an opportunity that they have to work very closely with a variety of species in, in a controlled environment. The NWRC is committed to the safe and humane treatment and handling of research animals. The center abides by the Animal Welfare Act and works with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal Care Program to ensure all animals are well cared for. NWRC scientists, animal care and support staff have dedicated their careers to learning more about wildlife and how to reduce wildlife damage. Their efforts at this one-of-a-kind research facility will ensure that a balance between the needs of both people and wildlife is maintained, while also safeguarding wildlife populations for the enjoyment of current and future generations. <laughs>